make some garden pizza, we should have a garden party. Have a garden party. If you all in shorty, I just made you garden pizza, we should have a garden party. What's going on, fam? Welcome back to Bacon Bars. Every month I'll be showing you something cool to do with an uni, and today we're making garden pizza. All right, starting with the sauce. I picked these beautiful tomatoes and I'm gonna roast them real quick with olive oil, a little bit of olive oil, some seasoning, you know what I mean? A little salt, a little pepper, a little red pepper flakes, oregano. All right, we're going straight into the caru. Uh, I picked these uh, peppers as well. You know, the garden's looking nice, fam. I mean, it's summertime, baby. So let's get that, let's get that garden energy going, all right? I'm gonna hit those on the grizzler pan with a little bit of olive oil, uh, just so they can get nice and flame roasted. All right, look at our tomatoes, how they come out. Mm, mm, mm. You already know what it is. All right, next up, we've got a zucchini. All right, we chopping the top off. Look how fat that zucchini is too. That zucchini was fat when I put when I pulled it out the ground. We're gonna go thin slice. All right, we're using a little bit of olive oil, a little bit more of that seasoning I made, which is just salt and pepper and oregano and red pepper flakes, garlic powder. It's beautiful. All right, we don't want to cook it too much, the zucchini, all right, because it's going to go back on the pie. Now we got the dough. All right, the dough is looking great. Absolutely phenomenal. Remember, the recipe is on uh, my blog. Look at the dough. It's beautiful. We flip it out onto the floured work surface. All right, flip it back upside down so the top is still the top. Press it down a little bit, all right? The dough's nice and elastic, giving it a couple of slaps here, all right? Just to stretch it out uh, as gently as possible. Don't be afraid to use flour on that work surface, all right? And just to prove how, how nice and strong the dough is, your boy's out here with that, with that little slap and fold energy, whatever you call it. But I got the dough nice and uh, extended, so that's a good thing. Now it's time to top our garden pizza, fam. It's a garden party. Next time you're having a garden party, make a garden pizza. All right, a little more seasoning, some olive oil, some fennel, and some garlic. All right, fresh garlic and fennel. Now we're going on with whole roasted, fi fire roasted tomatoes. I didn't even know what to call it just now. All right, we're going with the zucchini next. Fire roasted zucchini. All right, straight up. Now it's going to be a little bit uh, of cheese, just a little bit of low moisture mozzarella. A little bit of goat cheese as well, you know what I'm saying? Just to get the flavors packing. All right, now we got the roasted peppers. Look at the char. Leaving the skin on, leaving the seeds as well. Just be careful because if you put too many of them seeds on there, you're going to get got. You don't want to get got. You already know what it is, fam. Make sure you liked and subscribed. It's Garden Pizza, baby. We about to harvest some veggies, nice and ripe, just look at them cherries. cherries. It's a garden party, fam, follow along for the recipe. First, I'ma pick up a squash, give it a wash, chop top off. Then I'ma slice it up thin, salt and some pepper you leave on the skin. My tomatoes is luscious, slice them in quarters, just look how gorgeous. Now we making a sauce, roast them in the oven till the skin gets soft. Olive oil and season, simmer till that shit start weakening. Making good pizza take reason. Dose in the fridge fermenting. To know when it's ready, use my instinct. I use sourdough to make it distinct. Top with zucchini, little bit of sauce, one bite might change with a crit thing. Now heat up the wood, 750 if you could. Put the dough on the peel, load on the stone, couple minutes, you good. I just made some garden pizza, we should have a